what I really wanted it was something that could that could carry on uh, well past me well past maybe my family or but um, you know I guess I've really viewed it as being in the right place at the right time um, to make something like this happen so I get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing that it's it's made a difference and, and really helped the bass community have a great piece in their repertoire Well, the Harbison Bass Concerto comes out of a, a time in my life when I was in college and uh, my father had passed away. The Walmart company which he worked for had uh, given my mother um, and I some, some money to, uh, to do what we wanted to with, but they encouraged us to donate to a nonprofit and they would match what we donated. So we decided to donate it to the International Society of Bassists and commission a concerto. And um, we kind of set it on Harbison because of his multi sort of faceted approach with music his experience in jazz and early music and and some of the other concertos he'd written for string and wind instruments that we all really liked um it just so happened the dean of the school of music at rice was a very good friend of harbison's and, and was able to call him on the phone and say would you be interested in writing a bass concerto and he came back and said you know i've actually always wanted to write one that's the one string instrument i haven't written for yet and so it still took six years from that point to, to get it happening, but in 2006, uh, the concerto came out and was performed all around North America by so all these other orchestras, LA, Minnesota, uh, Cincinnati, you know, you name it, all pitched in four or five thousand dollars each, and together all that money went to, to commissioning this work. I don't know exactly what I was looking for, but it came out to be just at least as good as or better than I had hoped um, in terms of a bass concerto, in terms of how it's written for the instrument, the, the quality of the orchestral and solo writing and how they interact, um, the different styles that it draws from, the accessibility for the audience, it, it's, it's ended up becoming a great piece. I've actually never had a chance to perform the piece myself, even though I was kind of instrumental in commissioning it. So when Jason and I were getting together to talk about what we were going to do, you know, this was kind of the thing we'd really circled and said, you know, ideally this is what we'd really like to do so it's, it's really a thrill for me to see it come into being to work with Jason on this um, and to kind of show the Cedar Valley area like this unusual concerto that just has such a, a great um, it's such a great piece for the double bass to show off what it can do you know it's it's really the highlight of my career I mean I, I don't think there's any other way to say it because of my experience with the orchestra having been born and raised here having sat in Kirschenbrock Auditorium as a child watching Water Cedar Falls Symphony having auditioned and, and won a section job in there when I was 16 and playing with them in high school and, and now to have gone on done college pre professionally come back and teaching at UNI being principal there now and doing this it's just like a it's a full circle thing for me that uh, having this be a piece that my family was commissioned and it's, everything about it is just uh, great to, to be involved in. Mm -hmm.